Hey guys, hi. I've just received the DJI Mavic 3 Fly More Combo. I figured I'd share this with you guys. I'm not going to get into a lot of detail. As you can see on YouTube, there is plenty of YouTube uh, videos that kind of go into more detail. But I figured I'd at least open this up and let you see what you get when you buy the Fly More Combo. As you can see, this particular uh, combo comes with uh, three batteries, uh, one that comes on the unit along with the two extra there. You have your charging uh, uh, module there that comes as well as some ND filters and remote control. This is the standard RC controller that you get even with the Mavic Air 2 Air and Air 2S as well as the Mavic Mini 2. Uh, one one difference, of course, on this particular one, it's got the new uh, ActiveSync 3.0 Plus. And uh, along with that, it comes with the bag. So let's start with seeing what we got inside the box. And here we go. That's some important stuff here. You want to look at the box. Uh, there's some DJI Fly app, which I already have on my phone, along with the video tutorials and user manual. And here we go. All right, another fun package to open. And from the looks of it, Nice uh, canvas type bag. And inside the box, as you can see, Got a box with some accessories. Your usual manuals that come in with one of these uh, DJI Mavic drones. I don't always read them. And if you're already familiar with it, we'll pretty much work right through it. And here is that charger. And I believe this one's pretty much the same thing as the other Mavic chargers. It'll charge one and jump to the next and charge the other. And in addition, we also have for the RC controller, you've got the additional connector types, depending on what kind of phone you've got. Got a charging cable. USB, USB-C. Of course, the propellers. Additional joysticks. More propeller. And inside this box, we also have our ND filters. If I can get to it. Did this come, this came with a nice handy opening mechanism, which I kind of like. And there we go. And the nice thing about this set, unlike uh, previous Mavic Flymore combos, is you get the a good combination of uh, ND filters. I kind of like nd4 nd8 and nd16 and this comes up as well with the nd32 which is kind of cool so all this is very handy to have and let's see what else we got in the box here and here are the additional batteries and by the way this case is really really nice it's got a nice soft material inside definitely will uh, keep your uh, items well taken care of 
eliminating any possible damage to stuff. What do we have here? The additional pouch. Nothing exciting right now, just a silica. Stuff that keeps things dry and our main, main item, of course. I'll get into that in a little bit. And as you can see, we definitely have the really nice battery packs this time around. Weight-wise, definitely way heavier than the Air 2, Air 2S as well. But really nice construction. There's definitely some really good engineering uh, put into these batteries. The other big plus that I enjoy myself is the redesigned charger. Definitely a, a very big thing. Uh, definitely very portable. A little bit less, less to put in the bag compared to the Air 2 and the Air 2S. So definitely that is a plus. And here's the RC controller right here. And like I said, this is very similar to my Air 2 or an Air 2S. If you have an Air 2S, the similarities there are pretty much identical. Nothing totally different about it. If you look at it, oops, there we go. Same old standard way of connecting your phone. You can place your phone here. Again, I won't get into a lot of detail on how to's. I might provide a video later on on how to, uh, or pretty much first time use of your uh, Mavic 3. I mean, this is gonna be really good. I, I can't wait to try it out. Like I said, I'll, I'll see about sharing one maybe later on. I'll share the video and you guys can check it out. And here is the ultimate great thing of all, you know, for those that have a Mavic 2. I looked at the Mavic 2 and I decided to wait. And I can tell you right now, just looking at it, I definitely, I definitely see that it was worth the wait. And as you can see, one of the big nice things that I like about this is normally you have to buy additional accessories and just being able to get it out of the box as a fly more combo. I think this time around they did a really nice job in including things that one would normally need. One of the biggest things that I like on this one compared to my Mavic Air 2 is that I have a case, not, not just the protection for the gimbal itself, uh, but overall just to protect the antenna, uh, the uh, uh, propellers, make, you know, having them nicely tucked in and uh, again, not just protecting the camera, but also protecting your uh, propellers uh, as well. This would have been an additional accessory you would have to go look for. So as a combo package, I think it's a big plus this time around. I definitely like that they included the ND filters. And, and like I said, this time around, definitely glad that they included the, the typical ND filters that you would normally use, which is an ND4 to, uh, up to the ND32. On average, I think you're going to use more uh, ND8 and ND16. Those are the ones that I typically use most of the time. Uh, everything else, again, th this is very nice. I like this uh, uh, charger better than the uh, previous one, like in the Mavic Air 2S. You know, it's not bad, but I definitely like this a lot better. Definitely great engineering on the batteries. And let's open this guy up and take a look at it. Now I would watch that carefully. That's kind of cool. Just kind of real quick go over this. Uh, I thought this was more of a solid piece. This is pretty good. Definitely this is just a little flexible leather-like material that goes around here. So it definitely has some little hard parts to protect the main areas like the camera, the sensors, and uh, some hard protection here for your propellers. And uh, some flexibility to essentially wrap around the unit itself. So pretty nicely made. Kind of reminds me uh, like uh, kind of a dog protection <laughs> kind of thing, but it's pretty cool. 
on this one if you look at it definitely definitely it has some weight to it um, but uh, compared to the Air 2 or Air 2S it um, folds up very nicely and fo unfolds as well very nicely so there you have it this is pretty good overall there are some things I'll have to take off later um, these you can pretty much remove they're just part of shipping which I'll be doing that later um, here is the additional battery which I kind of like as a this design compared to the Air 2S and the Mavic 2s as an example definitely being able to put the battery on the back like this is a big plus I kind of like also the fact that your USB-C connection as well as the SD micro SD card connect uh, uh, insert slot is located in the back and compared to my Mavic Air 2 I think this is way better I didn't really like the fact that it was on the side you always have to unfold the propellers to get to it and in this scenario uh, you won't need to unfold things you can just pretty much take the battery out this way as well as to being able to get to your micro SD card so very impressive design another thing to note just so you know I was not aware but on this particular front face piece you'll twist it just like you do with the Mavic Air 2s and Air 2s you will uh, hold the the camera gimbal component and you just want to twist gently to untwist and remove the front cover so you're removing this one which is just a clear one that comes with it and then at that point you'll be able to use uh, um, your ND filters so again if you look at one I won't have the time to undo the other one but just to give you an example if you look closely here you'll notice the little uh, side pieces that allow you to place it in, twist it in, lock it and that is how it will lock this ND filter once you remove the one that came, the clear one that's already there uh, to begin with. So definitely a really cool design. Uh, I like being able to do that. I'll probably be looking for a polarizer lens there are combination ND filter, uh, variable polarizer lenses, uh, filters that you can buy. Um, the only thing is with blind, fly, buying this fly more combo is uh, you already have the ND filters. Otherwise, if I didn't have this, I'd probably go with a uh, variable polarizing lens with the ND filtering built in. But uh, the fact that these came with this, I'll probably look at a, at a minimum uh, variable polarizing lens and have that added to my kit of uh, the Mavic 3. So anyways, I uh, figured I'd share this with you guys and uh, I'll probably share some videos later on. I hope you uh, uh, get a good insight on, on what you're buying. Price-wise, just real quick, uh, a note on it. Definitely this is uh, a bit more pricier and um, you know it's a debatable thing right now at this point um, some folks think it's quite a bit and in fact it kind of is but in a way uh, I think looking at the engineering and uh, not even taking into account the details like I said you can check some other YouTube videos out there and to kind of get into the uh, specifications for the DJI Mavic 3 but I think engineering wise they did an incredibly good job I look forward to checking out the smart controller when it does come out and I'll show a video on that as well. And like I said, more to come. I gotta get uh, comfortable with this one and start flying. Thanks. <laughs>